let's go backwards. Alrighty. Oh, let's get started. Alrighty, it took about five, a little over five hours to cut all this in. Yeah, cut it in. <laughs> yep, a lot of work. So now we're fixing to roll the primer. And yeah, roll the primer. All right, so I goofed. I didn't tell them enough primer, and so I ran out, but I got a lot of the walls are rolled with primer. So since all the trim's actually done, and sorry if my phone's, if I'm moving my phone around to where it'll make you sick, but since I got all the trim done, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, it's primed, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut it in with the color that Lisa picked. Be one step closer. Now I'll finish up the walls tomorrow, I guess. Well, it's another day, day two of painting. Day three of buying the house. I got the back of my truck loaded up some, some stuff. On into Lowe's, we gotta pick up some more primer. Well, here's where I left off last night. I got the trim painted to the color that Lisa wanted. And you remember last night I ran out of primer. So I only got some more primer this morning. I actually had a dream about that thing last night. I dreamed it came on a roller for my paint roller. I <laughs> just drained it, came off the end of it. So I'm fixing to start rolling all this back here that I didn't get to roll yesterday. Then we're gonna start painting the walls. If I had somebody to hold the camera for me, man, it would be so much better as far as I could show you how to cut in this stuff. This is gonna be great. Alrighty, it's done. I had this problem with my roller not doing right though. Let me show you what I found was wrong. So while I was rolling, the uh, tray kept leaning sideways, you know, and bouncing back. I had one of those inserts in my tray. Insert like that. An insert like that. And when I took the insert out, I found out that this was the problem. That's what was making it lean sideways. All the little things. Alrighty. Take a look up there. It's kind of late now. But we've got the gray walls in. And now I'm just gonna start whitewashing the fireplace. So keep an eye out for that video and I'll show you how to do it. It's actually not gonna be whitewashed, it's gonna be the color of this trim right here. But yeah, that's it. 